Hello, my name is Jonas Hudnall and I'm very excited to be a part of the International Tefl Academy's Teach Abroad Film Festival this year. My film title, Traveling Solo for the First Time, is really just about that. It's really about leaving what is familiar to you behind and being able to explore the huge world outside of where you're from. Uh, and I would really hope that I would be able to inspire others to be able to do the same in that even though it is nerve wracking, it is not as bad as you think it is. Um, I would like to be able to thank all the sponsors that were able to make this event possible today and uh, I hope you enjoy the film. So here I am in the northern region close to the mountains in the land of smiles, nice people, good cheap food, but we can't forget about the tuk-tuks, the tuk-tuks. But let's take it back a little bit. Let's go to where it started. How I had to fly out of America first. Portland, gonna fly up to Seattle. We'll go to Seattle to Hong Kong. 14 hour flight, bro. I'm not ready for this. Yo. Okay, so taking this 14 hour flight, I recognize it was a lot, but I don't know. Personally, it didn't take the toll on me that I thought it would. If you have the money, just get a Connelly Plus. I'm 6'2", so that's the only reason I'm saying that. Anyway, I had this 10 hour layover in Hong Kong, which wasn't that bad either, because honestly, I was just FaceTiming folks back home and exploring the airport the whole time. And then I finally landed in Chiang Mai that afternoon. I was so nervous about actually leaving the airport and heading out for the first time, for real, for real. Just take a breath. I promise you, you'll be fine. Download the Grab app. It's like Uber, but for Southeast Asia, you'll thank me later. Class didn't start for a couple of days, so I decided to get the lay of the land. Again, take a breath. You are fine. No one's watching you or judging you. I made my way to the night market and the road to Tape Gate, which is where Old Town is and where a lot of the nightlife really happens and even more markets and temples are. Songkran was going on also at the time, so there was even more people out, which didn't make me feel as alone as I was because I was doing the whole trip by myself. And I didn't have long to be okay. alone because All right, cool. class started. Right, we got everybody else who's relaxed. So <laughs> relaxed. <laughs> so relaxed. Hey. So we out here. You feel me? Yeah, we out here. We in here. Yeah. 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 Tell you got it. You were deep. Oh, he can't stand on the back anymore. That's unfortunate. Oh, she's gonna let me in. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Again. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey. What's up? Hey, Dom, hey. tell the people what we're doing. We're just here oh, enjoying the, the temples. Hi. <laughs> What's good, bro? You've been. Oh my god, they're matching. That's so cute. Hello. Hello. All right, this is my girl, Marina. You're all up on my toe, but we, we pop it. <laughs> and then look at the mall. Look at the mall. Not only did I have my classmates to explore Shang Mai with, also had a bunch of Thai friends that I still talk to to this day. They taught me some Thai, took me to bars, temples, Whoa. and even around the university that they attend. How you feeling? Oh yeah. Let's not forget all this? the teaching we feel did. feel like rainbows? All good. Very good. <laughs> How you feeling? How you feeling? The kids were adorable. Oh my god. So, that's a little bit of my story with ITA. What would your story look like?